Virgo, welcome to your June 2018 horoscope. How is Virgo today? I'm going to do a full spread for the month of June, and I've been doing it for everyone. You are no different, Virgo. What is around Virgo for the month of June? What is around Virgo for the month of June? If you would like to have your own reading, please email me at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. What is around Virgo for the month of June? Put this away. Please look at these videos for your sun, moon, and rising. And everyone is always asking me what deck am I using. In this one, I'm using the Angel Tarot. This one is called Spellcasters. This was given to me as a gift, and I love it. And this will be for your general reading. And I'm going to choose my old Witch's Tarot for your love reading. This is called the Gaia Oracle, and this is called the Psychic Tarot. Because a lot of people ask, what deck are you using? And so I, I, I just forget to tell people what deck. It's just... It just gets so enmeshed and immersed in trying to do the reading that I forget that you guys need a complete picture. Final outcome card. Remember, we just pulled one deck for the final outcome card. For the general reading, what is around Virgo, God, for the month of June. What is around Virgo for the month of June? Four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. And just so you guys know, I really, really love what I do for a living. Like, I love what I do. So, ah, it's just amazing. I find that I just help so many people. So, thank you all for letting me just do this and, and help. Help give you guys some answers. What is around Virgo for the month of June? Please provide me with some answers. To my virgins, Father God. Oh, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Please give me all the insight that I need. Virgins are your beloved. They're your children, Father God. Please show me everything that you would like for me to tell them. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, my glasses. Breaking free from negative attachment. Virgo. That's hard for a Virgo. That's my first card. Break free from negative attachment. That's hard for a Virgo. Virgos almost act like a fixed sign. Virgos almost act like, you know, Leos. You guys are so fixed. I don't know if you're mutable or cardinal. I have no idea, but I should know this stuff, but I don't. <laughs> I have to look it up. Um, I think fix, I think you're mutable. You're mutable. I think after fix is mutable. Uh, that kind of makes sense because Virgos are very still people. You guys are like this, still waters. But you are surrounded around negativity. And you are surrounded around negativity that may be from your own making. Virgos, you are not free from sin. It, it comes to the point where you may have to admit that something went completely wrong here that you miscalculated and something went completely wrong. There is going to be a positive outcome to all this negativity that's around you, Virgo, 
But to be honest with you, it comes to a complete end. Like, done. Over. Complete. Kaput. Complete. What matters with you, Virgo, is whether or not you walk into the end with an agreement or you fight to the end. It has to end. The good part, Virgo, is that you will have an opportunity to rebuild because all of this negativity, it's hurting you. It's just hurting everything about you. It's hurting everything that you stand for. It's hurting everything that you've told people, like, this is who I am, and you're putting up with something so much more worse, and you're going to have people question your character now, Virgo. Oh, boy, Virgo. June is not a good month for many people, by the way. I mean, even in my own sign, I got the tower. So, June is a month that, I don't know, it's, it's, you know, it's that twin energy, that Gemini energy. It's like the other twin shows up, you know. Leo's a bright sunshine, and, and then the other side is fiery and, you know, like, crazy <laughs> and we're all not everyone you know some people could, but but Virgo you got something to answer to Virgo I'm sorry you have something to answer to and what you have to answer to has a lot to do with money it's all about money because it's in the past now what you thought you wanted based upon financial and material security. This is material changes. What you thought you wanted, it just ain't here. What you thought was there, it ain't here. You are free to go. That's what the universe always means to me. The universe, the world, you're free to go. But, you know, I keep getting success in the end. I keep getting that you're going to win, Virgo. Why are you going to win? You're going to win because if you allow yourself to exit gracefully, exit quietly, like a Virgo does. A Virgo's like, okay, that's what a Virgo does, you know. Um, you win in the end. My prayer is that you're winning your dignity. That's my prayer. Um, oh, Virgo. Break free from negative attachment. Face your fears. Release this. Whatever this is, release it. All right? And it has to come to an end with a positive outcome. Oh, yes. Success is here. Oh, yes. This is the final outcome card. We'll save that for later. Let's see. Uh, two of Wands. You're going to wait it out, though. <laughs> oh, Virgo. Maybe that's just who you are. You're going to wait it out. You're going to act like nothing's wrong. You're going to be like... And everything is just perfect. Yeah. And you'll tell people that. Like, yeah, it's just amazing. Everything's perfect. I don't know what this is. It could be job for all I care. Um, but there's a stronghold that someone has on you. It's like, it, it feels to me like, I always get these visions, right? So it feels to me like you're like, you're kidnapped, right? And then you have to call, you know, and... They're like, are you okay? Are you okay? But they've got you by the back of the hair. And you're like choking back tears because you want to say, help me. I'm drowning. But you don't, right? You go, everything's fine. Just send the money. Virgos, you are so magical. However way you got into this magically, you will get out of this magically. You guys are amazing. You're amazing people. 
Use your magic. Use your mojo. You've used it all your life, Virgo. It's a little manipulating, but it doesn't matter to me. You still got the gift. Use your own gift to get out of this drama. Poof. Poof. Be gone. Because um, you're juggling. You're juggling. Interesting enough, this seems like work, right? It's like juggling jobs, juggling this, juggling that. Give up the ghost. Whatever you're juggling, it's way too much. Way too much. You could be juggling emotions for all I care. It's too much. You're gifted. Got it. It's too much. You're very gifted. You're very talented. You could do three jobs. It's too much. Because right now you don't have the strength inside of you. You're kind of frozen inside. And you don't have the strength to continue on this way. But make an exit plan. There it goes. You guys are smart people. Make an exit plan. Again, come out winning. <laughs> Please. Because I keep getting you win in the end. I just get the three of wands where it's like, well, got what I wanted. Got what I wanted. I get the strength card here, Virgo. And it, the strength is inside your head. And so it's kind of like, am I stronger? Am I the strongest one? Are you? I think you're magical, and I think you're really, really smart, like so smart. I think you know how to stay balanced even to dodge, you know, the, the mangy dog that's around you. Could be a boss, right? Um, or another situation, but you, you like this mad, what's a rabbit dog? Like you, you can dodge this rabbit dog if you stay perfectly still in your power, in your strength, perfectly still that's what this card represents being in your power and being in your strength that's what this card represents there's another deck where this person is lying down i think it's the four of swords which is actually really i love it so much better than the four of swords on a better source it's so dumb some of the old decks ugh, i'm so grateful for this these new versions um some of the old decks, oh my God. You really have to be a psychic to figure out some of those old decks, I'm telling you. If you are not good at your job from some of those old decks, you ain't a good psychic. But in any case, I digress for you, Virgo. My point to you is, is that the two of, the, this is the two of swords, and this is a person that is standing in her power, is completely balanced, even though there's a mangy door coming for you. Control the dog. You know this dog. Control it. Okay? That means stand in your power. Do what you need to do until there is an exit. But you know this dog. And you never have to use your sword. You never have to commit to violence, anger, destruction, anxiety-filled emotions. You're smarter than that. That's where the strength card comes in because the strength card is inside your head and you're wondering, do I have the strength to get through this? Do I really? Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe you don't, Virgo. But more because you don't like losing. Look at this. Interesting enough. This is power. This is the door coming for you. Right? This is in my number eight position. So now, instead of staying in your power, which is my past position, it circles around to, do you have the strength? You do. But winning is important to you. And so we get to this place. But now we have, instead of two swords, two swords, now we've got eight swords. So you're losing. And look, the dog is now very calm. Because one, the dog got close enough to, to, to make you lose. 
or to feel like you've lost. And this is stress. This is stress. But I get it more because you don't like to lose, Virgo. I never knew that about Virgos. You guys don't like to lose? Give up the ghost already. You guys don't like to lose? If that's your problem, then we have stress. All right? Anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. You can't operate this way, Virgo. It's not healthy for you. All right? What are you worshiping when you, when you do this? Because the, the lighted candles mean worship. What are you worshiping when you do this? What are you worshiping? You just want to be happy, Virgo. That's all you real, really wanted out of life. You just want to be happy. My problem is that your happiness may have been found on deception. That's my problem. That what is, what was, what, what was is now something else. That it may have been established on deception. Might have been established on deception from you. Like, you, like, okay, oh my goodness, Virgo. It's almost like you... You knew this. You knew the potential for all of this to come about. It's like you knew. You just didn't think it would come back and haunt and get acknowledged, I think is what I'm trying to say. It's like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> I tricked everybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then it's like, you tricked me? It's like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? So a good example of this is to get a job, right? That you're not qualified for. A hundred percent not qualified for. And your resume is embellished. And you get the job. And then they promise you training, right? Because you know how that happens. Oh, we'll give you all the training. And then you get there. And one, there's no training. And then two, they're like, well, actually, you came with the skills, so just do your job. And you're like, I got to buy books. I got to study. I got to take a class at night. Like, I'm over my head. You don't want to lose the job, right? So you just continue the lie. That's what this feels like to me. When I say, you knew this. You knew the potential of this because there was trickery involved in the first place. All right, Virgo, yours is pretty deep. Very, very deep. And I love Virgos. But uh, somehow or another, there is a fire sign woman involved that's in a past. I get my lover's card, and then I get the six of wands, which is still about winning. All right. I get a king of cups, I get a little bit of a sacrifice, and I get a losing fight. So, this is about competition and winning, and then the next card right under it is a lost fight. All right? Not only is it a lost fight, it's almost like you're still in your mental space thinking that you're fighting when the fight ended. It's over. The fight ended. What is this, Virgo? What is going on? I love you guys, and you guys created a mess here. Um, Ten of Pentacles, all you really do is care about family. Family is so important to you. The high priestess is family is important to you, but whatever this mess is, it's almost like I just can't tell family. I just can't tell them. Back to your little trickery and your little games, Virgo. Stop it. Stop it. You want to free yourself? Tell the truth. You want to free yourself from this mess? Tell the truth. Remember, this is Uranus and Taurus event. No one escapes Uranus and Taurus. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at my video for Uranus and Taurus. And then look at Virgo, Uranus and Taurus. I made a video for Uranus and Taurus. And then I made a video for Virgo, Uranus, and Taurus. 
look at it. Because you can't play innocent in all of this. Interesting enough, there's a walk away. There's a tail between your legs. There's a walk away, but there's a potential for getting your heart's desires. In the end, in the end, it could all work out for you. Don't fight this energy. All right? There's something here about your moral compass being off. There's something here about um, what your expectations were. The opposite will occur. That's Uranus and Taurus. And there's a King of Swords here. And the King of Swords could be, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius man. Or it could be a man that is... Someone you need to walk away from and that is using their mouth to hurt and to, like, belittle. I keep getting job energy and to make you feel inadequate. Could be relationship. I also get a king of pentacles here. And I get lack of faith in this king of pentacles. Then I get the emperor card. And I feel like there's a competition between you who wants to be the emperor and a king of pentacles who also wants to be an emperor. And a king of swords who is using their mouth inappropriate. Now, it's very important because I don't, I didn't double up on this deck. It also could be a queen of swords, also could be a queen of pentacles. A queen of swords who's using her mouth so strong and so harsh could be work-related. A queen of pentacles um, whose energy has a, a lack of faith in and who wins. Oh, see, I knew it. All right. Virgo, this is a rough ride. This is a rough ride. Talk to me. What is going on? Because this is a rough ride. Um, can you guys get out of this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell the truth. Own up to the truth. That's your saving grace. Tell the truth, Virgo. All right. Let me look at love for you guys. I get a queen of swords here. A little bit of a sacrifice. Somebody familiar. Somebody familiar. Sacrifice. This person comes back in. Okay, the person comes back in after some strife and some argument. But whoever this king of swords is for you, it's all about love. I get a king of wands. Some of you are going to get pregnant by a king of wands. And everything changes when this king of wands walks in. Um, there's some juggling of finances. Okay, so whoever comes in. My death card tells me that there's some juggling of finances. And whoever comes, <clears throat> comes in, because Virgo loves money, be careful that you choose money, Virgo. Choose love. Do not choose money. I know you, Virgos. I know you guys. This is not the time to choose someone for money. Choose love. Because together... If you choose love, you will build. If you choose money, you might be stuck in a situation you can't get out of or wish you had never ventured into. Everything will change. It seems like it's a little bit of hard work. How do I get back my life? All right? Everything will change. Give yourself some time because I keep getting that you will win in the end. Tell the truth and you will win in the end. I get the ships are coming in. Again, Virgo, I get you all as magical. I get you all. You, there's a bad situation. You turn it around. Um, your biggest concern, ironically, and I get it in both decks, is family. Family, family money, family security. You might have to get on your chariot, get in your car. You might have to uh, do something in speed. I was going to say fly, but now I don't think it's flying. Do something in speed. But... There's, these cards are identical to this, and I'm trying to talk about love in this deck, but this, this is identical to this. There might be a walk away. There might be a walk away from a water sign woman. Virgos, use your magic. Stop manipulating people. Use it for the positive. 
You can still manipulate. Just do it for the positive. <laughs> Everybody thinks manipulate's a bad thing. I'm saying do it for the positive. Don't trick anyone, anything, you know, any situation. <sighs> for some of you, there's a pregnancy by a fire sign man. But the pregnancy by a fire sign man changes everything because it's not until you get pregnant that you discover that he lied to you. He was a liar. He, he lied when he walked in. But you didn't know it. Now you're pregnant. And then you're like, you're what? You're married? Oh, yeah. Ah, some of you Virgos. What is going on with Virgos? Oh, my God. Some of you Virgos are going to fight with a king of pentacles and a king of swords. Or either or. And I keep getting boss love. Boss love. That's what I think is happening. But, man, you guys don't know which way is left. Oh, Virgos. Again, your biggest issue is securing your family. I don't blame you for that. But I do get the tower, which means something gets compromised with your, with your family. Do not fight, Virgo. Do not fight. And I, Oh, I'm sorry. I meant physically fight. If you physically... Oh, my God. If you physically fight, Virgo, you're the one that goes to jail, not the other person. Oh, my God. Such a rough ride. And there's a child involved that could uh, see everything. And you might feel a little, like, mentally um, displaced. All right? Here's what I want to tell you, Virgo. You're not that wrong in your feelings. You're not that wrong. Everything that you're going through is real and true. I want to honor what you're going through. The reason why you're going through this is because it was a little bit of trickery. A lot of manipulation, a lot of trickery, and, and you're here now. And here is the negative space, all right? But save yourself, break free from negative attachment, Universe means you're free to go. All these cards are talking the same thing, Virgo. Um, it is a positive outcome. Positive outcome, I promise you. There is success in the end. There just is. And I'm missing a card. I'm missing a card. Can't find the can't find a third one of this. Oh, here it is. And it all involves financial and material. I got security, and I'm going to stick to that. I keep hearing security, not changes, but security. All right, Virgo, let me give you a final outcome card. I went way too long. And uh, eight of emotions. Hmm. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you. Every single deck was talking the same thing, Virgo. There was no switch up here. And seek out... Seek out your magical new life. I'm telling you, I see you guys is so magical. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Uh, oh, there it is. That way you guys can pause and read it for yourself. All right, Virgo, if you want to get, elaborate more on everything that was said, email me, psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. Please subscribe. Um, please like. Please share this video with your followers. Um, please comment. I love the comments. Please comment. All right, Virgo. Um, I'm going to pray for Virgos this month. I'm going to pray for Virgos because this feels rough to me. All right? I love you all. Bye, Virgos.